first tonight, an NBC10 investigation into a former guard's claims that Richwood Correctional Center allows, even encourages officers to beat inmates. Five days later, Richwood answers those charges and allows the night team's Randy Ayala behind its walls to see for herself. I'm afraid for his life. Those words coming from the mother of an inmate at Richwood Correctional Center. She says when she talks to her son, his words frighten her. I'm so afraid to miss a phone call because not knowing what's happening to my son from one day to the next. Last week, you heard former CO John Robert claim that officers beat inmates at Richwood and that he got fired for refusing to do it. I was fired out of warning. The disgruntled employee that got terminated. And I'm sorry for that. LaSalle Corrections is the company that manages RCC, which invited us to tour the facility for the first time. Development executive Kevin Sumrall says Robert's claims aren't true. That type of uh, uh, problems are not here at Richwood Correctional Center. We had to leave the camera behind for most of the tour. I toured the halls here at RCC, and I'm going to tell you exactly what I saw. I saw mattresses for inmates to sleep on. I saw showers where they get to bathe, sinks for them to brush their teeth, and they have plenty of toilet paper. Sumrall says inmates eat and shower every day, despite what Pickering and Robert say. We've passed every DOC audit we've had here. Inmates are never denied toilet paper. We serve meals three times a day. He says just because these men are behind bars does not mean they're treated as less than human. We're not here to punish those inmates. We don't hold their crime against them. In a prison setting, you have to use force at times to uh, gain control. But Sumrall says it never gets beyond what's necessary. We have zero tolerance for corporal punishment. Pickering says she still fears what goes on inside RCC. I'm afraid what the guards are doing. I'm that was Randy Ayala reporting. Now